Let's start from the biggest one. Mabel, you're not black enough. Bro is trying so much to be white. What do you mean trying to be white? Here comes the whole story. My name is Valvery. Well, I'm originally part Nigerian and part Gambian. But I do eye model and I also uh, create fashion content for the most part. And yeah, social media in general. Okay. So why did you move to Amsterdam? What drew you to Amsterdam or the Netherlands in general instead of other countries? Well, it wasn't uh, intentional, I'll put it that way, because I stayed in Poland for a bit and then I decided like, okay, it's time to move. I need to do other things. And I was like, it's either Germany or here. Weigh my options. I kind of like the way things are here compared to Germany. So I was like, huh, let's just, let's just see what happens. We're going to Amsterdam. From how you're finding it so far? So far, so good. When I first came here, it wasn't easy to like, you know, get in the flow because it's a very fast city in general. People are doing things fast. No one is waiting for anyone. You either get with the flow or get out of the way. Exactly. So I came here and it was like, things are already in motion. And then I had to like, uh, my first job was Albert Hyde. Oh. It was very, uh, a very interesting experience. I'll be 1,400. You're not a skilled person. You love Amsterdam, but if you're a person that's waiting for things to be handed to you, then you're not going to like the city. And what was the transition for you? Like having worked at Elba High and moving to like being a full time creative, what was that? process like for you? Well, before working at High and I was already modeling. When I was living in Ukraine and da da da, I was doing that. But I wasn't creating content on this level. I was just doing like, you know, modeling, the modeling jobs, I post my work and da da da. And then after Albert Hine, I think I worked in a hotel. Okay. Which I kept doing that for like a bunch of hotels from 2022 till end of last year. And then both slowly, I slowly like, you know, maybe you take less shifts and work for less hotels because I started getting more into like, you know, creating content like for myself like i wear a nice outfit i want to take a photo of it so it's just like i just i just but i say stumble into this lifestyle in, ge in general i didn't plan it okay. but it happened either way it's one unexpected thing about living here that you think people don't know or should know about the directness of people and the way everything's specific no one is gonna say things just to make you feel better no one is gonna also do things just for you to feel better you need to man up or woman up and do things you're supposed to do like don't expect like don't expect handouts no boss i'm not looking for handouts in that sense like you get a new job for example you shouldn't expect uh oh yeah if i do something wrong my boss or people around me will um, baby me and cater to my needs in general people let you know when you're doing something wrong and how you can be better rather than like oh yeah i don't want to say because you're going to feel bad no one caters to your yeah every need yeah but so it teaches you to be independent and at first you might think they're very rude which i did at first like you know the directness of the people was like oh my god i don't like this place but after a while i was like i kind of like this because you never you know what your yeah. reaction is yeah not uh, it's okay and work <laughs> aggressive has um has living here influenced any sort like a sense of fashion yes it has oh because uh that's when I, it's funny it had you ain't got no style like I said, it made me evolve. I didn't drop who I was before, but I also had to like evolve to make things easier for myself. Now, in general, the Dutch people, the Dutch community in general, they are general, they are very, uh, they know how to admire things that are different. Mm -hmm. They admire it from a distance. Yeah. We love it. We like that. They will, they will not do it for themselves. They're a their community that might be like being normal. They like being following a set of rules. Do everything on a stable level. Yeah. Don't I be need dramatic. a dramatic change in my life. Be too dramatic. Don't be under dramatic. Just stay on a very good level of effect. And when I came here, I realized because I'm used to, I was very big on expressing myself every single time. People are more like, we love it, we love it, we love it. But also we're like, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. And then I, when I realized that, I was like, okay, how about this? We do what I need to make myself evolve to a more like, most of the time I have a very stylish look that people will love absolutely but also neat, clean, yeah. preppy, chic. But with events, I need to go crazy. I need to give them drama. I need to walk out and it was like, whoa. So I decided that. Don't be dramatic every day, but be dramatic enough to leave an impression. You care. When you give it every day, it stops being special. No? Sure. Exactly. I want to walk into a room and they're like, ah, the guy, the, I don't know his name. I don't know what he looks like. Sure. I think living here sort of inspires the year in a creative way. It does, because I remember when I moved here from Ukraine in general, I was very in a 
Well, I was creative, you know what I mean? But when you're not in a creatively challenging environment, you cannot really um, do your creative things. You think you're okay at the stage you're in. Yeah. But then once you all go to like a place where it's more like there are people that are like more creative than you in that moment, you're like, okay, well, I want to learn that and I want to also learn this. When I came here, one of the biggest shockers for me was the fact that I was in, okay, I don't want to sound like a brat, but I was in special. You know what I mean? Okay. Like back in Ukraine and Poland, anything I did was wow. And I came here and it's like, yeah, we've seen that over and over again. We don't give a shit. And I was like, oh, okay, now I need to do more stuff, which took me a while, you know? Cause I was like, okay, I thought I'm gonna get here and get jobs and mulling jobs immediately. No, it took me about nine months to get my first ever collaboration or anything. So it wasn't fun. Like it wasn't easy. Exactly. That's why I was like, okay, first two months here, I gotta work in a behind and work in a hotel. Cause I mean, modeling wasn't kicking off. I was like, okay, let's get back to reality. Go get a fucking job. The word today is job. Sorry. It was challenging for me creatively. I was like, okay, I gotta think more, look at what people are doing around here, the way they dress, the way they act, and try to like bring it. what I was then to now is so much different. I had to like take out what they're doing and pick up our things I'm doing wrong to make myself a more better person in what I do. So yes, it's very creatively challenging, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. And all of that whole transition of like, okay, I have to be able to stand up. I don't want to lose myself in the process where I'm, like, I'm trying to be so, the else. people who look like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm lucky enough to say in my life in general, I've not, I've not been a very easily influenced kind okay. of person in that sense. I can like things, but I wouldn't make it my entire personality. In Poland, I would, didn't really do anything. I was there for like a month and a half, I think. But it was also like, it's Poland. It's not a very, uh, open-minded place like this place same with ukraine ukraine is beautiful i totally love that place but also like creatively in general it's not a super crazy place to be creative we like it but some people are like we like it some are like it's weird we don't know it so here i didn't change too much i just tried to um what i already knew how to do i found better ways to do it exactly implement new characteristics so i can stand out i've always looked like this i've always you know what i mean yeah i maybe my sense of dressing changed because i'm like ah okay now i got older i don't want to be more like dramatic every mm -hmm. single time with my dressing but i i matured i was like what eight, 17 when i went to ukraine till now i'm 22 not too long but a lot has happened since that didn't change a lot of things i just uh worked on what i already had in that sense. Uh, what's the boldest fashion choice you think you've ever made? Yeah. I feel one. Oh my god, that's the so bad one. Oh my fucking god. I think I deleted that first. <laughs> no, what is bad? Well, horrible. What? So I wore like a neon green, very neat. When I see neon green, I mean, it's so obnoxiously neon green. Yeah. You know the gilet jacket? Neon green? Yeah. It wasn't a bad outfit because it was like, oh, your outfit's so nice. But looking back now, I was like, but I, I think it was a little photo I saw of you in the kitchen cooking some stuff and it was also like some red or blonde or was that Halloween? Cooking in the kitchen? In the kitchen? Oh, that wasn't Halloween. It was just a photo shoot. Yeah, oh, that's oh. one of my favorite. How do you think about all of this thing? Uh, in general, whenever I make a photo shoot, I haven't done something like this in a while, but when I do things like this, I try to like make something that's going to invoke emotions. Mm. I don't want you to look at a photo or just be a photo. That's all. It's so fun. You know what I mean? Like, I want to make photos that you see and you're like, I'm mad at it, but I'm also like, how did your mind think about that? I like, mean, not always good emotions, but... <laughs> but, it, but it's gonna have any emotions, you know? But, it, but it's gonna have any emotions, you know? I did one Halloween last year, and the reaction from that was not one. Are you ready? Um, PSA people, you know, graphic thing, I had to put a trigger warning in front of it. Oh, I saw this so This was a lot. It was a lot. Was if you like a lot for people. I mean, this was very interesting to shoot. Like when I shot this in the bathroom, by the way. So I just like got up. I was like, let's put like I don't imagine you read it. I had my friends to help. So that was amazing. Was, I told them, let's imagine we were like a butcher shop. I didn't pick a nine of floor to ceiling. I got my fake rod of Amazon, spread it around, took a knife. It was amazing to shoot. That was funny came out. Not everybody liked it. I'm like, I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh, Jesus, she lost it. My fun on the My dad was like, huh. I like it. I'm like, what? what? Because it involves emotion. I like it. My aunt was like, okay, I'm gonna speak your right now. Well, I did. Kill all the shit. Kill all the shit. <laughs> like, it's like, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. Where would you put blood here? Yeah. Lost it, you know? But it was like, I was like, huh. It didn't want to, what did you do? I wanted that reaction. And I got challenges you've experienced. 
am, and this has been either being as a black man or being as a queer man, what are the hardest lessons you've learned about living here in Amsterdam? Do you think there are any stereotypes or do you think there are certain challenges that are very peculiar? Oh yes, so you... 100%. Let's start from the biggest one. Mabel, you're not like it off. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> it's like... Like I said, does it get doesn't get blacker than I am? Like, are you kidding me? Main problem I feel like I have with my community as a black person. Me personally, I already have stereotypes of what a black person should be, and every time a black person doesn't fit a stereotype, you are you're not black enough. Like, what is that? I genuinely don't know what that means. Most of my content, even till now, I get people coming to under, oh, bro is trying so much to be white. What do you mean trying to be white? Like, excuse me? So that specifically from the community here, and in general, I feel like. Maybe because I'm not influenced by, I guess, American black culture to be specific. I'm not American. I am African. It doesn't get blacker than that, darling. You know, I guess I didn't use the slangs more, most of the Western culture decides black people should use. So to them, I'm not black enough. I've gone to events and people really brought it up. Like, oh yeah, I mean, like, you're nice. Why don't you ever get, like, people don't ask you that you're not black enough. And then I'm like, I would never understand that. Do you, do you think you get, you're gonna, like, you get less jobs because of that? Okay. Well, I feel not. Okay. I think it's like I've decided not to let um, that uh, limit what I can do. Because in general, what exactly is the jobs I would get if I was black and not? Mm. Either way, I can do every single job. And I don't think I will be getting any jobs because I'm black. Specifically because of here in the Netherlands, we have so many black people in general and people of different colors so it's more like it's no longer fit to be like yeah we're, here, we're gonna use you because we are a diversity quarter thank you it's not a thing here i mean maybe it is i don't want to be i don't want to like belittle anyone's experiences but to my knowledge it's not as rampant as big places in eastern europe for example in eastern europe yes you will be hard because of your skin color i feel like i got into modeling specifically because of my skin color in general because also where i left is not too many black people yeah. that's why when i got here i had to fight for my place because it's like darling there's a shit in a black models you're not special and also creatively you have to fight for your position there is no space just again given to you if you don't work towards it someone else is going to come and take it because there's so many people going for the same job you want if you don't work towards it and show people that you're actually being given that job, you will not get it.